Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sax from saxr.2x.nu. Today, I'm gonna bring a tutorial where we're gonna convert a Bentor image into a 3D image using Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Cinema 4D. So let's start. Let's go to File. Oh, first of all, you have to look for a Bentor image. So if you have one, you get right now. So I have my list right over here. I got this one. You can download it from free from a bunch of other websites. So just look for it, Google it, and you will find. So let's wait until it opens. Okay. All right. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna select the Bentor image that I want to do in 3D. So I'm gonna pick this one right over here. I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna hold Chief and click on it. Make sure you select every single part. Now after you select the image, press Ctrl C or copy, then open a new project, a new window, a new project, whatever you want to call it, and paste it. Alright, after you paste it, we're going to save it as two, 221, you name it, whatever you feel like it, 212. Save it. Okay, it's right in form, and now we are done with Adobe Illustrator, so now we're going to go to Adobe Photoshop. So let's just close this thing right over here. Yeah, I don't need you anymore. So let's wait until it closes. Now we're gonna open Adobe Photoshop. In here, we're gonna open the image that we save. Go to open. I'm gonna go to um. Let me see, I think it's somewhere around here. There you go. Okay. okay, I got it right over here. I'm gonna open it. Until we open. Alright, we're gonna press OK. And in any moment it's gonna pop up on the screen. Oh yeah, sorry if it's kind of slow, but I have a lot of problems running at the same time. So now that we have it over here, we're gonna go to layer. <laughs> Let me see what's up. Okay, layer, and we're gonna press Alt, I mean Control, and click on the layer. We're gonna select the whole picture gonna go around gonna select now we're gonna go to patch on patch you see that little button right over here it's called a make a word pack from selection click it all right we're done with Photoshop now we have to go to file export patch to illustrator click it just name it whatever you want I'm gonna rename it all right we are done with Photoshop now so let's close Photoshop now nah, I don't want to say that and we're gonna go to cinema okay so we're gonna open um, cinema 4d we're gonna open file open we're gonna look for a piece or art that we're gonna do in 3d that will be 2 to 12 open so as you can see we got the 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 patch on the purpose TV purpose purpose view and now we're gonna click over here and the object manager I'm gonna see that we got five parts patch I'm sorry so what we have to create we have to go to hyper nuts and get the strip nuts and then we're gonna duplicate it five times 
because we need five. So we press Control C and then Control V, three, four, until you got five pieces. Now we're gonna move them under two, two, all five pieces. I probably the, there. I know that there's a different way to do it, but this is a tutorial for beginners, as like all my other tutorials. So this is an easy way to do it. So what we have to do, we have to put one of the patch on each of the on each of the strip knobs. So let's do it. Put the first one. See, if you get close, as soon as we put in this strip, um, now it, it start getting like a shape. So keep doing it until you finish with all of them. All right. Now you can see we can just look around. You can add some materials, but right now th this is how it's gonna be. Add some materials, some isn't files, and some lights.